Welcome back to some more Let's Play Quest for Glory 2 with me, your host, Tim. We left off, we had our second day, we got to watch Shema dance, we went out to the desert and killed some scorpions, getting their tails. We went out shopping for a little bit, we met the very angry weaponsmith. Hello, Shema, good morning to you. It's always a pleasure to see you, great hero. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you too. Um, I got nothing else. Thank you. You are, of course, most welcome, my hero. Wait till she leaves and then we'll eat. Right. So, uh, yeah, we had a good day. Let's, let's take a look at our stats, because I've already forgotten where our stats are. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. We've got some... Lots of skills are over 100. That's fantastic. Our honor is really low. We'll need to... Well, that doesn't really matter for our type of character. Anyway, let's go ahead and eat. Breakfast is delicious. We shall drink. We shall stand up. And today... What's our plan? All right, so we have 116 golden diners. And I think today we're going to spend some time fighting Uhura for a bit. Yeah, we're, we're going to go up north to Haddix, sell the scorpion tails, and then buy some more pills. And these pills will probably be mana and... mana and uh, vigor. Oh, I don't want to, I'm sorry, Shamin. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to just walk up to you like that. Also, you have a, you have a good day. The poet Omar will thrill all who hear with his words of song after the setting of the sun in our very own inn. I added the word very. It's okay, Shamin. <laughs> you're, uh, you know, you're winging it. This you gotta see. The ashtray of, a Sh of Shapir made from imported coconut shell, handcrafted by Katha natives into the face of the Sultan. You're not gonna find this anywhere else. I already know you don't actually have it. Hello, Ali Chica. Greetings, Hero Spielberg. Thank you for the offer. You have a very good day. Okay, so how are we looking on stuff? 24 brass send times. Let's give some brass send times to this gentleman. That should that should do it. Because there's 20 left. How are we looking on stuff? We are looking good. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So, first we go to... Harik, or Harik? Harik, I think. And sell the, the scorpion tails. And we'll just walk there. Get some morning exercise. Uh, well, we would have walked there anyway if we take the map. In fact, we're going to use the map to get back, I think. Let's see. Oh, hello. Send time for the poor, FND. Send time for the poor. Oh, sure. Hello. Greetings, Hero Spielberg. Oh, hello, Toshur. Uh, what's your name? My name, FND, is Sarihad, which means beggar. Oh, sure. Let's, uh, give him... Give him a diner. Oh, what a wonder! Is it a dream? Oh, Effendi. There is no end to your goodness. Thank you. My pleasure is just... <laughs> this is all sorts of awkward. Alright, you, you have a good day. I'll just go ahead and, uh... Take some water. And a drink. How are we looking on our stuff? We're looking pretty good. Alright, let's sell these tails, get some cash. And then buy some pills, and then practice some spells, and then we'll go and probably face off against Aura for most of today. Hello, Herrick. Ah, I did not notice you come in. Welcome back. If you see something which interests you, let me know. Let's sell our tails. Ah, wonderful. I was almost out of poison cure pills. Now I can make up some more. Here is your reward of 40 diners. You take the money and put it away. Awesome. Okay, so we want to... Let's... Buy some vigor pills, and then we'll haggle for mana pills. And I, wow, we have got to spend money somehow very quickly. We are really overburdened. Okay, no problem. All right. Oh, uh, thank you, Harry. It is an honor to serve you, or to serve you is an honor, in fact. All right, thank you. You have a good day? Alright. Oh, yeah, too late. Too late. Let's get out of here. Alright, so where to next? I think the beggar will ask us for some more money. We'll give him a send time this time. Let's give him give send time. Thank you. Thank you, FND. You shame me with your kindness. Okay. So, you're welcome, sir. Okay, so why don't I immediately spend some time casting some spells and getting them up over 100. So, everyone. I will be right back.
It's kind of weird to do it already, but I'm gonna. Be right back, everyone. Okay, everyone. Right, we're done practicing our spells. We used all of our mana pills, and you can see our skills over here now. I ended up having to practice calm an entire two pills worth of times, or rather four pills worth of times, to get over 100, but there we go. We're almost in the territory now of Flame Dart and Fetch. Force Bolt will take us two days probably to improve it, or quite a bit of pills. We could just sit here and spend all the money on pills, I suppose, and just up these skills right away, but I have some other stuff I want to spend that money on. In particular, I think we will buy a better sword after all. So let's head over to the Fighter's Plaza first. And we can just fast travel there. I, th I think I might have actually shown that last time. And now that we're here, let's visit the weapon shop. Hero of the Katas, huh? Only a Kata would call you a hero. Hello, Fisher. Yeah, what do you want? I want to haggle for your sword. You pay for the fine sword and put it away. With your skill in fast-talking, you managed to bargain him down the 80 diners. Having traded in your old sword and paid the money, you now have one of Isher's swords. For all his bragging, he does make a fine weapon. Thank you. You have a good day, sir. Okay, that's a lot of the money we had just gone now as well. So we'll have to earn our keep now. That we have this weapon. Let's walk this way really... Oh, actually, no. We won't go that way and cast Zap. You're not supposed to cast spells in the city streets, by the way. I believe it breaks the law if you decide to do so. Oh, hey, Rakesh. You're out here with Simba today. Good day. A most pleasant one for those such as myself who like the heat. Although most humans might find it hot. Simba here is more like a lion. He's having a wonderful time. Uh, he is. Look at him playing with the tail. Uh, look at him. Look at him. Make the grab for that. Hello, Rakesh. It's good to see you, young hero. A nice day to be adventuring. What can you tell me about the poet? Uh, there is much truth in what he speaks. Have, do you, have you and Ahura been friends for a long time? She is my friend. She is a good fighter and teacher, and you would do well to practice with her. She can teach you much about the warrior skills. Yeah, she, uh, do you know much about being a warrior? Oh, that's what you are, of course. Okay, yep. You mentioned this before. What, what dark magic is about? Magic surrounds all of us in this world, and is a part of us also. Aziza has many more answers than I. Oh, what do you know of her? Aziza is a very powerful enchantress, wise in the ways of the elements. You might visit her house near the Shamali Tariq, if you can win her respect. Hmm. Do you know anything about paladins? The way of the paladin is to seek to know that which truly is. The paladin strives to learn his own inner nature and that of others. The paladin does whatever needs to be done to bring light to the world. Not for glory, not for gain. The paladin becomes a paladin because it is his will. What is his will? The will is the very essence of your soul. Okay, well, thank you, Rakesh, very much. I am honored to aid you, and you have a good day. Okay, well, we're here to practice battling with Uhura today. Let's do that. Maybe we'll visit Aziza today as well. It's good sometimes to have Simba with Rakesh. Hard to feel like strong warrior when feeding baby. Maybe you and I do some practice with weapons today. Hey, hello, Aura. Good morning. All right, cool. Yeah, let's, uh... I try to be of help. Awesome. Let's let's practice. Everyone, we're just going to be doing this quite a bit, I think, just as a heads up. So, probably like the next five minutes or even more than that, we'll just be sparring off against her. Well, after each time, I'll use a Vigor Pill, because I'm interested in trying to get these stats up to around 120 or higher today. Then we can be out at night without any real concern, I think. I'm going to have to practice smacking her. No, no. Put your body into your thrusts. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, block, block. Nice, good, good tax there. Nice, got her with a low hit. Dodge out of the way, dodge again, Tim. I also do like how it's... The attacks don't have the same length of time, so she might hold her, her blade a little bit more. Brigands don't defend well. Keep up your attacks. Oh, that's what I need to know. Oh, no, that's a low block. Oof. Oh! 
Nice, good two hits there, Aura. Gotcha. I think Simba will be in here watching as well sometimes. If I be Griffin, swing high. If I be Ghoul, swing low. Use best attack for monster. And that's a hint as to what you're supposed to use when you fight the Ghoul and or the Griffin. Quite like just doing random stuff to improve your, improve your dodge and parry, what have you. That's right, Aura, we're beating ya. You definitely want to make sure you, all your stamina runs out. This way you can take, get, well, actually, I guess Vigor Pills restore only half your stamina, I think. Oof. Oh. Oh! Scorpion always wiggles tail before it strikes. You ready to dodge or attack it? Stop you from attacking us for a little bit. No, it's a high block, Tim. Let's do it. I always do the same thing. I, I always dodge left and right whenever I begin dodging. I gotta mix it up a little bit. Gotta confuse Aura. Nice. Good one. Good block, Aura. Good block. Is this me or does her shield look like it's a, like a laughing face? You see it? You got a good swing. My shield arm is sore. Thank you, Aura. That was fun. Okay, nice. We got a bunch of stats. Let's eat a Vigor Pill. How are we looking? Oh, wow, the Vigor Pill restores all of our match or seven points. Never mind. Awesome. Well, then let's save... Oh, let's save the game. Oh, how are we looking on rations, by the way? Three food rations. All right, let's do this again. We're going to use, I think, most of our Vigor Pills this way today. Ooh, good dodge, Tim. Tonight, we'll go back out to the desert, and I think we'll try to find the the Dervish, perhaps. Jackal men may be cowards, but they do fight well. Keep sort of one at a time. Take it out as fast as possible. That was a good reaching stab there, Aura. Oof, we got lucky there. Oh no, block, block again, block low. Block medium, no, it's high. Okay, woo, good. We still did it. She's attacking you, Tim. No, of course she is. I mean, this is practice, this is the training room. Is that a bench back there? Is that what that is? I see all sorts of different- Oh god! Pterosaurus is stupid, but strong. It takes a while before it knows it's dead. She's been out here a while, I guess. Actually, how old is Simba? She must be... She must have stayed here for at least that long, right? Hey, her, hus her husband's here. Watch my actions. Move before I do. Actually, I guess I might ruin a little bit of this. I don't think the baby's father is her husband. I think she... Uh, I don't want to say too much about the story, but I don't think she and him are married. But I think it was... Um, that's what I'm looking for. They... I guess he... He and her are dating? Probably the best way to describe it? Oof. You need to practice footwork a little bit, Tim. I dodged up. I, li I like parrying in this game. I really will have to drop the shield eventually. Actually, I should drop the shield now. Honestly, we don't need it whatsoever. Oof. That time, we both got to work out. Pretty soon, I'd be needing rest. Or never needs rest. You can just go back there and keep practicing against her as much as you want. As long as you have the stamina to do so. Well, let's eat another Vigor Pill and do it again. What time is it? Midday already. Alright, let's do it. Yep. I would, again, like, oof, at least 120 skills, uh, skill points in my combat abilities. Plus these battles, ah, these, oh, uh, it's a, she's endlessly attacking you. She thinks you're a brigand. Um, it's useful for practice here to get your skills above 20, plus this will improve our strength a bit, which will be useful because then we can carry more weight. No, you don't. Nice try, nice try, Aura. I don't think so. Nice block, block, dot. Oh, God. Nice. Go get him. Get her. Nice, good double hit there. Eventually, uh, this will be too easy for us. Like, we can still come here and practice with against Aura and just get our weapon scope a few points. But once our skills are up, like, around 160 or so, uh, it's really probably the best that you just go out into the desert and defeat enemies for the treasures. Yep, I, I always... Oh, God! <laughs> How we looking? 88. How's our stats? All right, we're not going to get over 120 after all doing this today. We'll eat another Vigor Pill. And do this again. And then I think we'll, we'll call it. We'll try to find out where Aziza's staying. 
god. Good dodge there, Tim. Keep going after her. I like her sidesteps. She actually really gets out of the way. It's like she's repositioning herself. Tim, keep, keep the blocks going. Dodge side side. No, nope, I don't think so. You know, the more I th I'm thinking about it, the more I think we're just going to drop our shield. I, I can't think of any reason why we have to have a shield in the game. Because you can parry just as well with your sword, to my recollection. So I think we will dump it. Oof, nice. Good attack there, Aura. Oh, God! Help! <laughs> can you imagine the hero screaming help in the training room? Stop! Stop beating me up! Stop somebody! Stop, please! Please stop. Good, good low block there, Tim. Oh, it's another swing low. Oof, that was a bad. That was a bad one. We, we got knocked out quickly there. Okay, well this is a good spot to eat a healing pill now. We'll eat a vigor pill again. Actually, do we need a vigor pill? Maybe we don't. We could rest for an hour. What time is it? Uh, we'll eat one. We're looking on money, mostly full water skins. Our stats again. I really want that strength over 100 so we can have like 90 max weight. But this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and thank Aura. Thanks, Aura. I'll try to be of help. Do you know anything about the poet? I do not know what you mean. Oh, it's okay, Aura. Thanks. Uh, you have a good day. Okay, so. I guess we can try to find Aziza today. All right, we've already seen what Rakish has to say today. Hello, Rakish. Though we should always say hi, thanks, and goodbye. Mind your P's and Q's and talking to people. Alternatively, we, could, we don't have to find Aziza today. You could go out in the desert. It is midday. You know what? Let's go out in the desert instead. So we'll come to the Fountain Plaza first. Oh, hero, would you? But no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm here for the for the water. Drink a bit as well. Check the time again. Mid afternoon already. Let's go to the source lot. If you're exploring the desert, you should visit the dervish at the oasis. He's a very wise man. Well, thank you. That's what I plan to do today. All right, let's uh, open the gate. Okay. Time to ride our cool saurus out to the desert. So it was five scarine lengths to the south of the town overlook, and then three to the to the to the right. So first thing we're gonna do is cast a zap spell. We have just enough magic to do that, at least I think. Actually, that's the only thing we have enough magic to do. All right, so now we'll mount up. All right, let's go back to the dervish. It's actually pretty easy to find him. I found the desert to be... On one hand, everything looks similar. As long as you don't get too far away from the town, you'll be in okay shape. Like, don't go more than six scarine lengths left or right. And you can go as far up or down as you want because you'll reach mountains on the other side of the desert. This is like a huge... Uh, uh, ravine's the wrong word. Valley? A huge uh, valley. That griffin head rock right there is the hint that you are nearing the... Oh, God! What the heck just happened? <laughs> it's a brigand, everyone! All right, we're, we, we've been... Aura told us about these guys. I feel kind of bad for him because we're just going to probably easily get away from him. Rather, slaughter him. He's doing lots of, lots of dodging. He must be practicing his skill-ups as well, I see. Nice, nice try. Good, nice. Oh, good, good hit. Yes. Take it. We get points because we're the good guy killing people. Let's search the body. Six dies and fifty cent times. Nice. Where the heck did our did our Saurus go? He kind of. I thought he was supposed to help us fight the creatures. He just kind of left. There he is. I like the eyebrow raising. Okay, so you're not the fighting kind, but I guess that's what we get for paying for paying twenty diners. 
that what we saw earlier oh come what the heck that was i believe king arthur from sierra's camelot game we saw him there as mirage okay come on come on Tim. you can do this you've been practicing ah got you got you again Oof, nice, good hit there, sir. We got him, no problem. Yeah, brigands are a piece of cake. We should have no trouble against them. Two diners and 21 cent times. Okay, that's a lot of cent times. Still, those are useful to picking up food in the middle of the day, and some things cost more cent times than, go than well, actually, technically, anything that costs one diner is worth more than cent times. However, we can hold on to the cent times, obviously, and use them to purchase things like, um, I think, powders, cheap. Um, oh, there's a few other things which are I'll, I'd want cent times for. Freedom is like temper. Oh, hello. Let's dismount. Hello there. Quest for glory is like same old story. Let's look around. The oasis looks blue and cool. You're not so sure about the character attached to the palm tree. Cool, maybe. <laughs> Hero business like eating peanuts. Let's drink some water. You take a deep drink of the warm but refreshing water. Then you check and refill all your water skins. Hello. Um... What was that about the hero business? Once you start, it's very hard to stop. I'll agree, the series itself was addicting, especially when I was a kid. What's your name, sir? Man with no name, like question with no answer. You must be the dervish, is that right? Wise men learn much by saying little. Too many people today could probably learn from that statement. Way too many. Oh, what's the whirling part, by the way? The difference between beard and world is one whirls around tree, the other twists around me. Oh, okay, it must be his beard. Uh, what, what was that about? I, you said something when I first arrived here, and darn it, I can't remember what you said. Do you ever visit the city of Shapir? Land of Shapir like rainbow, very colorful and always something new. Hmm. Well, thank you. Uh, I think we probably should rest an hour. Yes, this does seem a nice place to take for a short nap. After an hour's rest, you feel refreshed. Let's cast a zap spell. Your weapon is now magically charged. How much much do we have left? Oh, we have enough to cast a detect magic. Anything magical here? Nope. This is a really small oasis, I might add. All right, so we can just take a whirl. There aren't any here. No, there totally is. There we go. Take beard. You take a small piece of Dervish's beard and put it carefully away. Thank you, Mr. Dervish. Um, right, well, I got nothing else. We'll stop back here and, I guess, talk to you later. Yeah, that's it. All right, you, you have a good day. Yep, that's it. All right, so that's the dervish. He can give you hints somewhat, and he is he, there is a there is a story part that he'll help with much later on that I completely missed in all my younger years of playing this game. I don't want to ruin it until until we get up to that part, which will be several in-game days from now. All right, well, time to head on back. And it must be sunset by now. How we're looking on everything. Our zap spell is cast. We're looking pretty good. We only picked up what, like seven or eight cent, uh, eight diners. Seven more, and that will be enough for more mana pills. Really, it's the mana pills that we're going to be spending all our money on now. But I need to hold on to some cash. It's always always wise to have about twenty bucks on you, maybe even a little more than that, just in case you need to spend it for quest related things. Because if I be... That's a Pterosaurus! And we, we reached the edge of the map, so we're being forced out into this area, and we should immediately have a combat, I think. Actually, we'll just, we'll just leave.
Poor Pterosaurus, he can't quite reach us. All right, let's cast a Dazzle. Oh, crap. Battle starts. All right. Careful, careful. So the Pterosaurus doesn't make dodges or anything like that. It's just attack, attack, attack. And he does, he does quite a bit of damage. Oh, God. Help. Get him, get him. Oh, I was hoping to avoid fighting one of... Oh, God. Fight one of these right away, like this. I was hoping to be able to get out here tonight. Oh, actually, we still can. Never mind. We can take a, just take a healing pill, what have you. And we'll be resting before we go back out here. Kicks us with its powerful talons and everything. This is an epic fight, Tim. You might not make it here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Lock, lock. Oh, God. I think the Pterosaurus is one of the tougher creatures we'll be fighting. So, it's purple. It's purple? <laughs> you killed a mighty Pterosaurus. Woo! How are we looking? 21 hit points. My goodness. But we won. Thank God. Okay, let's uh, eat a healing pill. That restores half of our hit points. Okay, we have two of those left. Let's search the body. Nothing of value. We can't, we can't like, take any teeth of it, right? No, we can't. Okay, well, let's cast another zap spell. So we weren't able to cast any spells against it because it reached melee range just as our dazzle spell finished. I actually do kind of like the old Dazzle spell in Quest of Glory 1. This one doesn't actually have any type of flash or animation to it. Well, it has animation of us casting a spell, but I liked the Quest of Glory 1 animation where uh, you actually got to see a like a ball of light or something get emitted. Um, to my knowledge, none of the other games, Quest of Glory 3 or 4, they, they don't have the same. The screen will flash in 3 and 4, but in this game, all that happens is that the spell finishes, and that's it. All right, well, we've been cool. We made it back to town. Barely, but we did We did survive. We did do it. Good day, F&D. Good day, indeed. All right, let's dismount. I will not need to misspell it incorrectly in this game. I will be honored to put your Saurus back into the stable for you, F&D. Oh, thank you. And good morning. You don't understand good morning. All right, you have a good evening then. It's probably sunset. It is sunset. Special today only. Guide to sightseeing in beautiful Razier. Only cost you one diner since it's only got a one page. We're running a little on food rations. We're going to have to buy some more. Why don't we take care of that now, actually? While we have the extra weight and what have you. And then we'll head back to the Hero's Tale Inn. Where we can hear the poet Omar. And then what are we doing? Then we'll probably rest for an hour to recover some of our some of our stamina. And then we'll head out for the evening and fight like two creatures. And we can give you a sentai. Give sentai. Okay, so... We have delicious things for you to eat. Mouth-tempting falafels of fresh roasted lamb. Dates stuffed with honeyed almonds to tease your tongue. It is a certainty that you will enjoy what we sell. You know, it only only like three years ago did I actually buy like figs and dates and prunes. I love those, those fruits. There's <laughs> lots of fiber in them, so I can't actually eat them, turns out. But uh, they're so tasty. And of course, of course they're not... Lots of sugar. Lots of sugar in those fruits. And oh man, they are delicious. A friend was telling me how figs are... In order to, in order for the, the fig plant, in order to sprout a fig fruit, it has to have devoured a, a wasp to do so or something of the sort. I'll have to look this up to verify. But I remember hearing the story and being like, that's, that's crazy. But nature is crazy and frightening. Uh, what are your names? I am known as Jabir bin Mamar. Oh, uh, thank you, sir, very much, Mr. Guard. It is my pleasure to serve you, FND. What is this? Is this the cra <laughs> this is crazy pause where everyone talks about anything else? What type, what type of food do you have? I regret it very much, but I cannot help you with that. Yes. 
Yes. What food do you have? Meat delicious. Okay. Um, ask about the dates. Our fresh dates are stuffed with the finest of almonds, roasted over the brazier carefully and then glazed with honey. We personally stuff the dates ourselves. We are very fastidious when fast wow. Fastidious when working, and you will not and you will find no kata hairs in the fruit. For two handfuls, you need only pay thirty centimes. You cannot find a better treat in all the bazaar. Do you have any rations? Our lizard jerky rations are very cheap. But delicious, they travel very well. Surely the adventurer gets hungry at times. You can get five meals for but a diner. You never need be hungry again. The jerky is prepared with only the finest, most succulent, rock-flattened lizards. Our special blend of preservatives lets the rich, full-bodied lizard flavor come through. That actually sounds pretty tasty. Sure, let's buy some rations. May you be much the better for it. May it please you well. You pay, You put the rations in your pack? Uh, wow. You put the rations away in your pack. Alright, cool. That gives enough food down. I don't have to worry about it for a few days. I forgot to say thank you and goodbye. Alright, so now we're going to stop by the inn and see the people. This is going really fast, by the way. I can't believe how quick these days are going. Oh, it's nighttime. It is nighttime outside. Hello, nighttime. The poet will soon speak, if you will but be seated. Hello, Shamin. We are most honored by your presence at our inn, Hero Spielberg. All right, let's let's look at the poem. Oh, look at the poem. Let's hear the poem. In the month of the serpent, in the year of the jinn, a shadow passed over the Kata's tail inn. Astrologers foretell that doom shall come to dwell, and Shapir shall be something. Comes a hero from the north, riding on the very air, and this is a sign the first to then beware. For darkness soon shall fall, and shadow cover all, the city and the ones now living there. The first doom shall be fire, which shall burn the very stone. The next is air, and rocks are overthrown. Earth shall be the third, then the final doom is heard. The water gone, the city parched like bone. Unless the one called Hero is a hero true indeed, who comes to help the city in its need, then will face the depths of doom in the darkness of the tomb. From the elemental's master, we are freed. Sounds more like a prophecy than a poem. Let's, uh, let's order some food. Shema will be with you shortly with one of her splendid meals. Thank you, Shemin. Here is lemon chicken with garlic and lamb stewed with herbs. Eat it with good health. Oh, hello, Shema. Thank you. It's always polite to wait till she leaves, then we'll eat. All right. You have a wonderful meal. There are numerous salads, two main courses, fruit, hot mint tea, dessert, and all the bread you could want. You feel stuffed and content. Fortunately, heroes never get belly aches. All right, let's stand up and let's talk to the poet. Hello there. We are most honored by your presence at our inn. Is this some sort of ongoing joke that everyone in town is a part of? What are your names? I am the poet, teller of tales that all might hear. Speaker of speeches, weaver of words for all of Shapir. Giver of gossip, writer of rhymes, narrator of news. I am called Omar, teacher of truths to all now near. The poet is a source of information and entertainment for the land. Oh, your name is Ja'afar? Companion, conscience, ready to defend. Teller to those that they may comprehend. A man of pride, yet sits he by my side. A person I am pleased to call my friend. The poet, may his poems be praised, is most flattering in his assessment of me. I am but his follower. Can we tell about ourself? We cannot. Um, what do you... Right, well, can you tell me about your poems? 
A poem is but words used in a different way, in which the meaning is far more than words can say. A poem goes beyond the mere meaning of its words to express the deeper truths within it. It can also be used to form cryptic puzzles like the poem you just said. I wish there was a way that I could say, well, there is a way I can say it, but I don't, I'm, it won't give us an answer. It would be neat if I would have been able to ask about the meaning of this particular poem. But he did mention all these different elements. Let's ask about them. Upon that question, I would further ponder... For guidance, I suggest that thee seek yonder. The poet Omar, may his words be ever heard, has no answer for you. That's fine. Do you guys come here often? It is said that in Shapir there is an inn, that in all the world you will not find its twin. The food is fine when there you care to dine, most excellently run by Kata Kin. The Kata's Tail Inn is unexcelled in its food and entertainment. This is the best place to be then. Lucky to be permanent guests here, as it were. So tell me a little bit about, you mentioned fire. You, okay. See, I, I know what's happening, but I, realistically, I don't think Galvin would know what's happening. So we'll just have to ask basic questions this time. Ask about Shapir. From the mountains whose tips touch the stars, to the city streets filled with bazaars, to the deserts of flowing golden sand, a tapestry of art across the land. The beauty of this land must be experienced to truly appreciate it. Right, because, I always forget about that, the land is called Shapir, and the city is called Shapir. It's like New York City and New York State over here in America. Um, ask about the desert. A place where all must fight just to survive. Forethought and wit shall help thee stay alive. Only the toughest or smartest can survive in the desert alone. Have you heard any rumors? It is whispered by the Kata that a hero had been sought by their kindred seeking elsewhere to the city he was brought. From their homeland they were banished, now they seek there to return, and their hero shall return them to the place they ever yearn. The Kata were driven from their home in Razir last year, it is said that they now have a hero who shall return their home to them. Is that hero me? Oh, I guess a hero's me. You may ask, what is a hero? Yet the answer is very clear. He's the one that faces fear when the darkness gathers near. A hero will brave the very darkness for the needs of others. This is very... I don't know... I don't know about that answer. Because what, who defines what the darkness is? I can see that being, um, being redefined depending upon... Like, we're a hero, but we're someone else's villain, right? Probably, is the way that, is the way that would work. We're def, definitely hated by Baba Yaga. She just wanted to sit in Spielberg and eat people. <laughs> She's an ogress, so it's not like people are, are... It's not like it's cannibalism or anything. That's probably a bad example, but I think, I think you guys know what I'm trying to get at. Uh, tell me a little bit about the kata. Oh, this is this is the uh, the the thing about that. Um, tell me about the Sultan. We don't we don't ask about him very much. There was a Sultan in the land of Shapir who speaks but truth and counsels all to hear, to whom all the people praise and cheer, the righteous rejoice and the foul all fear. The Sultan Har Harun al Rashid, may his name be known always is a most powerful and perceptive ruler. Oh, you know, I what? this is probably where I get the names for my occultists for Darkest Dungeon, because I use Al-Rashid a lot. How about that? I must have got it from this all the time. Um, right, do you know where the Guild Hall is? You know, have you ever visited the, guild, the Heroes Guild? A place where the adventurer may pause and practice for a while, or choose a cause. No matter where he travels, there he knows. He will find the Guild Hall waiting where he goes. The Veterans Guild Hall is on the west side of the Plaza of the Fighters. Have you ever been to the Oasis? You have not. How, do you know anything about the Dervish? The Dervish of the desert sits upon the sands beside the pool of the Oasis as men pass him, and they laugh and ridicule at such a fool. But he watches and he listens, and they think upon the, th the things which pass him by. And when he smiles upon his, his mockers, when they question all his answers and reply... Many people go to the dervish for knowledge, but few understand him. 
I'd say that's right. He does speak a bit cryptically. Do you know anything about Kipon? I don't, I mean, I don't know if we can ask about certain people. You do not. How about Shamin? Can we ask you about Shamin? All right, well, thank you guys very much, then. You are most welcome, hero who came here. May you always be so welcome in Shapir. Such a thing was done with pleasure, hero, and needs no mention. All right, you guys have a good evening. So we're going to rest one hour. Oh, crap, it's night. It's midnight, which is to say. Um, I mean. So we don't actually have time to go out into the desert today, because it's probably going to be dawn or early to dawn, and I would like to get a full night's worth of rest. So let's go back to, back to sleep then, and rest until dawn. Hero friend, a most strange fire has been seen outside the inn. Take care as you leave. Good morning, Shamin. Hello. We are most honored by your presence at our inn, Hero Spielberg. Thank you. Tell me what about a fire? You will have to ask Abdullah about that. All right, everyone. Well, we're going to stop here. It's a, new, it's a new day. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.